So right work, we're going to do some positioning, uh, positioning exercises that we're going to use the so right to help us get better at that position. Uh, so we're going to do just a seated, just toe reach. And what we're going to do is we're going to stay in that position just for a brief second. And we're going to see where we're tight. And we're going to pinpoint that with our hand. And then since the so right is designed like the hand, then we're going to use the so right to massage that area. Massage it for a little bit, move it around, go upstream, downstream, go left and right of it, do some circles around it, some deep breathing, so it's acupressure stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're gonna test the, the, the movement out again. And so we should see a, an improvement in our, in our flexibility um, because we're, we're using the so right to help relax that muscle and really tell it's in a safe environment. So then you can get deeper in the range of motion. So we're gonna use a yoga strap. And then we're going to just the basic, just sit straight up, put the strap around our ankles here, and then just sit as tall as you can. We need to go a little bit bigger strap because what we're trying to work into is we're going to get into our hamstrings and we're going to test out which position, um, which is which position is tight, what part of the muscle is tight. So if I'm here and I lean forward, I actually feel it right underneath, like right below the knee, right underneath here. So I'm going to take the so right, and then I just sit down, and I just put my leg right on top of that peak. So the peak's here, I've identified where that point's at. I don't need to get all technical with names and muscles or anything, that area is tight. I'm going to put the so right, right into it, I'm going to go left and right. I'm going to position the sore right and just kind of move it around. I'm pretending like this is my hand, right? So I'm going to use this as my hand, and I'm going to move around. I'm going to push into it. I'm going to find that spot that's a little tender. And then I'm going to test it out. I'm not going to do the other side. I'm going to test out this side and see if I actually feel a difference from the left and right. So sit back tall again. Lean forward. And there's a little bit of a difference. Great, so I'm gonna go to the other side. We'll push into that same side, move around, push into it. I'm hunting around this area, exploring this part of my body to find that tender spot. Like right there, I just found a spot, and I'm gonna pull myself into it, moving left, moving right. And only stay on that spot for just about two seconds Push into it, open, close, I'm gonna test it out. So I'm going this back and forth, test, so right, retest. Sit nice and tall, lean forward. So now the, it's, it's moved from right underneath my hamstrings here, down into my calves. So now I'm gonna move it down to my calves. And I'm gonna play around with the different positioning, like I said, I'm gonna move it around. Go straight, go left, go left. Go right, I'm gonna slide down the front side of it, position it about, so I call it clockwork. So if this is 12 and six, then I'm gonna shift it to that 11 and five position. And then I'm just gonna move left and right, find those tender areas, explore, explore, explore. And once you find a spot that feels tender than, than most areas, sit there for a little bit, breathe, I'm moving my toe around, making circles with it, trying to really put my mind into that muscle and see what I'm feeling and try to get that muscle to relax. So, move down a little bit. Took about five, 10 seconds. And then now I'll get back into position. Same position, because I want to test the same position so I can see if there's an improvement. So, straps in the same spot. Toes are pulled back, sitting nice and tall. I go ahead and move forward. I feel less on my right side. I feel still tightness on my left side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. And now I'm gonna move through it. And I'm using my hands and I'm pushing down on this part of the, the calf. And just moving it around. So now I'm going to shift it to more of a 10 o'clock, 4 o'clock position. See what that feels like. And I found a spot that feels a little more tender than, than
than the other area. So I'm gonna stay there for a little bit, move my ankle around, making circles with my toe, left and right, come back, same position, sit nice and tall, pull myself forward. Now I can go forward even a little bit more. So now I feel it here. Now I feel it. Now it's making its way down my calf. So I'm going to just do, since I already kind of see the progression that it's going, now I'm just going to work this whole front calf before I do the test again. Now you can leave it skin on the uh, skin directly onto the right, or you can get a sock, or if you have a legging, that can be also nice because then you can slide up and down it really well and really identify an area that might be more tender than most. And once you find that spot, so I found a spot more on the inside of my calf, right there, I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna go left and right. I'm gonna move that ankle around. When I move the ankle around, I can feel it um, really working. Pull it back towards you, point it, pull it back towards you, point it. Now when you point that toe, that makes that muscle nice and loose and you can really get into that calf. Found another spot, go left and right. So I'm not, as you can see, I'm not staying on the same spot for too long. I'm moving around the ankle, being really active. There, left and right, move, move, move. Find another spot. I'm turning my foot out so I can get the outer part of my calf. Found another spot right here. Same thing, move that ankle, go forward, go backwards, go left and right. And now the thing that's also really nice about using the sew right is that you control the pressure. So it's like a deep tissue massage, but you're controlling the pressure. And if you have a really good massage therapist, they would talk to you and be like, hey, what's going on? Do you feel this? What's the pain threshold? Is it a one to 10? You know, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. Let me know when it's a seven. And you have this communication back and forth. But sometimes they don't do that and they just go right into it and you're getting this deep tissue and sometimes it's not the most comfortable position. But with this, you're having that internal dialogue with yourself where it's like, oh, it's too much. A little bit more, a little bit less. No, let's move. Okay, there we go. Right there, stay right there. Okay, a little bit harder, a little bit less. Okay, go to the left, go to the right, go up and down. And you're just identifying those sticky areas that, that are more tender but you're just having that internal dialogue and it's making it really easy and efficient to, to get into those areas. So, test this out again. A little shake out, the blood flow back in there. Same position, same position, sit nice and tall. Pull the toes back. I'm in the same position I was before. Now I'm gonna lean forward. I feel good, lean forward a little more. I feel even better. Now I feel more on my left side because I did all my right leg and I did it all the way down the calf so it didn't feel as tight as my left side. So now I do the left side. So you can see the pattern. I'm going left and right, left and right, and I'm just identifying those areas that feel tighter the most. And it will just start to work its way around. So when I first started, you saw that I got into the hamstring and then I worked down to my calf and I worked further down my calf and I'm going one side to the next side so I can kind of compare and contrast and see how effective doing what I'm doing with the so right is for this position. So now, since I've done both left and right and I've been really getting into this calf, that the area that's now starting to expose itself is my lower back. So I'm trying to stay up nice and tall, trying to hinge forward, but now I'm starting to feel kind of that lower back kind of hip area here. Cause I can get pretty, pretty low from where I started. Where I started, I was more like right in here. So now I'm sitting much taller. I'm able to get forward and I can feel here and I'm starting to feel kind of on the outsides of my calf. So sometimes what happens in other positions is you work on a certain area and that area becomes potentially down here because everything's connected to the body. 
can become loose and then you can feel just as good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to work on the back part here. There's a bunch of different positions I can get into and the main one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go more, it's gonna be just about, about your hand width from your, from like the tops of your shorts, your pants, up from there, that's where I'm gonna put that peak. So I'm gonna put that peak right there and I'm gonna go left and right. I'm trying to loosen up that back. Identify those sticky areas. One side might be tender than most. Just exploring around, push in there. Doesn't take much, I just do a little bit of that. Come back, get in my position, sit nice and tall. Inch forward, I feel pretty good. Inch forward even more. Pull down. Now it's starting to identify itself a little bit like right above like the bottom, bottom base part of your back. So the way that I'm gonna get into that area is I'm gonna lift my hips up Put the sew right right underneath, and now I'm just gonna pull you on your shirt so you have some cloth between the sew right and your skin. And then now I'm just gonna identify that that spot that I felt when I was just hinging forward. And so where I'm at on my back is that you feel that spine and just go right to the left of that. Sorry, right to the right of it, to the right, and you're gonna there's that there's a big chunk of muscle right there. I'm way down, close, kind of like above my tailbone, but there's muscle. I'm trying to find that muscle, not putting it right on the bone. And I'm just going left and right, up and down. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. Do that test again. Shake everything out, sit nice and tall, pull myself forward. Feeling pretty good. Pull myself forward some more. Doing pretty good. So I've just increased my range of motion. Now I'm just trying to get this. Now there's a lot of other stuff going on in here that I need to get into, but I wasn't feeling that particularly in this movement. So I'll apply the same principles with other movements, which you'll see in other videos, uh, to help myself get some better range of motion. Check out the other videos. There's other ones that will have uh, squat positions to um, standing up, hinging over, upper body stuff. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, any comments, please uh, comment below and I'll get to them as soon as I can.